iBeam for Asset Project Management. This session covers electronically signing and submitting vendor lien waivers and is intended for our vendor users. First-time users are encouraged to view the first-time users video by visiting the link found in the description of this video prior to watching this session. In regard to vendor lien waivers, once a payup has been created, a lien waiver is automatically created. The vendor is notified by email there is an open task ready for them to sign electronically. The vendor may print out the lien waiver directly from iBeam. Electronically signed lien waivers must be received before the Avalon Bay coordinator can approve the payout to be paid. And as a reminder, if you are using sub-tier vendors on this project and you have not yet notified your Avalon Bay coordinator, please do so now. Now let's take a look in the system. Here is an example of the email notification you will receive from Unifier of your open task in iBeam. At the bottom, there is a link to your Unifier login. If you use this link, it will take you directly to the system where you can log in and take action. The other option is to log into iBeam directly. Click on your Home tab. Find your Open Tasks by clicking your Tasks folder. Here, we find one specific record for your vendor lien waiver. Simply double click to open. Now the first thing you do to accept the task is click Accept. This will make the record editable for you to do your electronic signature. You will want to make sure that the vendor lien waiver tab is highlighted blue. There is some information on this form that we will want to review before submitting our electronic signature. As we scroll through the record, we will see the project information, and the construction payup information. Here, we can see the check amount, the work through period. We will also see that this is not the final payment for contract. As we continue to scroll, we will find the lien waiver signer information. This information is the information that gets printed on the printable version of the lien waiver. The name field is grayed out as your name will automatically be populated. Next, enter your job title, the state in which your company is located, the current month, and date. Now you are ready to click send. The action details window will open. Here you will use the pull down arrow to make your record complete or send for more revision. If you are the incorrect person for submitting this lien waiver, you can choose the workflow action that changes this from your completion to send a colleague. When you click on the send to colleague field, a to field will populate. Click on the select icon Double click on the colleague you would like to send the record to You will see that your colleague's name now appears in the selected items and click done You will now see that your colleague's name appears in the to field and you can click send. 
If you are ready to complete this task, you can click on the workflow action details arrow, select completed. You can now see that this record is being sent to the end stage and that our accounts payable team will be notified. Click send. Once your record has been sent to the end stage, you can now print your completed lien waiver. You will need to click on your project tab Contracts and Payments, Committed Payments, Vendor Lien Waiver. Here, your Vendor Lien Waiver records will show. You will want to choose the record that says Completed. You will click on the Menu tab and select Print custom, choose the correct template, and click print. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on signing your lien waiver. And don't forget there are written instructions available in the help section of any process to guide you through the steps. If you need further assistance, reach out to your designated IBM support team member or your Avalon Bay Project Coordinator. Thank you.